Hey guys and gals, my name is Shannon and I'm here with a quick tip about Sublime Text 2, specifically Sublime To Do, which is a package or extension or plugin or whatever we're calling them these days, whatever the kids are calling them these days. Uh, I think they're packages, they're packages, they're definitely packages. Um, so yeah, you are working away and you're coding and you discover something that you need to fix or change or you need to leave yourself a note to do something or ask something of the client possibly. And you don't wanna stop what you're doing because then you will lose focus and then ultimately their website will break because you did it wrong. Um, but you wanna leave yourself a note to do it later. And you don't necessarily want to switch documents because also you lose focus. So you can leave yourself a note within the context of the code that you need to change. Okay, the first step, if you haven't already done so, is to install the Sublime Package Control. Uh, for those of you that already have Sublime Text, you already know about this, but we're just gonna go over this real quick for all the noobs. So Google Sublime Package Control and you'll be taken to wbond.net. This guy has uh, a number of packages available that are awesome and this is the very first package that you need to install because it'll allow you to easily install all of the other packages out there that are super awesome. Uh, so we just need to select this text and go into Sublime Text 2 and type control tick and paste that into the console, hit enter, and it'll say uh, Sublime Text to, or uh, please restart Sublime Text to to finish installation. So we're gonna do that real quick. And now we're restarted. The next step is to install Sublime To Do. Now we do that by typing Shift Command P which is a command that you will use a lot for all kinds of things, but uh, it's how you get to the package installer. So you can tim simply, uh, simply type uh, package, and you can see there are a number of options here, but we want to install a package, so we will choose install package. Now we get this heads up display, and it displays all of the packages that are out there in the world for us to play with and I encourage you to uh, check some of those out because there's definitely some really awesome packages out there. Uh, but for now, we wanna search for To Do and choose Sublime To Do. And it's as easy as that. So now we have Sublime To Do installed and we're ready to go. Okay, so how do I use this thing? Well, it's actually quite simple, all you do is leave yourself comments in your code the way you normally would, except you precede them with particular keywords. Uh, and out of the box, you have four keywords to work with. Fix me, to do, note, and changed. And they're all in caps, and they all are followed by a colon. Actually, you can have case sensitivity or not case sensitivity. I like to turn case sensitivity on, which I'll show you how to do in a second, because you could have the word note colon in your HTML. In fact, it happens quite often. So I like to turn case sensitivity on and you can do that in your preferences, which I'll show you how to do in a second. Uh, so now I have all my to-dos and fix me's and notes in my HTML document and I wanna display them all on one page. So all we do is type shift command P, start typing show, and then you'll get show to-dos in project and open files hit enter. Now we have a complete list of all of our to-dos in one place that we can navigate. This is the key, we can navigate them by typing next and previous. And if you wanna see one in context, just type enter and it'll bring you to the exact line that that note is on. And then you can go about fixing your bugs or whatever. And uh, obviously you wanna delete the comment when you're done. Um, one little thing to note, um, you can see in the results that it actually shows the comment, like the uh, dash dash greater than sign. You can avoid that by just putting the beginning of the comment and the end of the comment on its own line. 
So how do we create our own custom keywords? Well, that's easy. And the first thing you want to do is go over to the Sublime To Do GitHub page, which has a listing and directions of all of the custom settings that you can have. Uh, essentially, we want to create a to-do section in our preference file, uh, which you can see right here. Well, this, this would be the entire preference file, opening bracket and closing bracket. And your preference file may look different, but essentially you need to create a new to-do section in your preference file. And your these are the default settings, and you can just copy and paste these <coughs> so that you can create your own. So let's go back to Sublime Text and open up a preference file by hitting Command, Comma. And as you can see, I have some settings in here that don't pertain to to do. Um, I also have spell check, or sorry, not spell check, uh, case sensitivity set to true. And I have some files that I'm excluding, for example, all text files. Uh, the asterisk obviously denotes all text files. Um, I'm excluding my JavaScript folder because libraries such as jQuery or Bootstrap, they also use to-do style notes, and so you don't want those showing up in your results. And then lastly, patterns allow you to create your own, and you just need to uh, replace uh, one of the defaults with the keyword that you want. In my case, I've created one called awesome, and you need to change that in three places. Awesome, awesome, and awesome. Make sure you have a comma at the end of each line and not a comma on the last line. Otherwise, you'll get an error when you save it, such as that. So delete that comma, save it, and so now we have our custom keyword awesome and bug, and you can see in the results they are showing up. Okay, that's your super awesome Sublime Text 2 tip for the day. Is Sublime to do going to change your life? Probably not, but it will make it a little bit easier to keep track of what you need to do.